viewers sent in pictures of something she found in the desert this weekend. We knew we had to look into this. Tiny purple spheres seemed to appear out of nowhere, and our viewer wanted some answers. Mm -hmm. Not on your sides, Liz Kotelik saw these strange jelly-like objects, and she joins us here in the studio to tell us what these objects just might be. Guy, this is definitely something that I have never seen before. There were thousands of these weird little spheres piled in the middle of the desert, and although I'd like to believe that they were maybe something out of this world, we spoke to one source today who may have another explanation. It was a normal Sunday in Vail for Geraldine Vargas. Normal until she and her husband stumbled upon something kind of weird. We were taking photos around the area, and we just, I mean, how could you miss this? It was just like... Um, gl uh, glittering in the sun. Thousands of these tiny purple hued spheres piled in the middle of nowhere. It's just one of those things that you've never seen before. They were watery. Some were translucent and the pile was completely isolated. Jardine was amazed and she wanted answers. We did email our a friend of ours who's a zoologist but she didn't know. I mean she didn't seem to recognize what it was. So she sent Kega 9 these pictures, hoping we could figure it out. So we checked out the mysterious spheres for ourselves today, and they were still there. They're like gooey marbles that ooze out a water substance when we squish them. They roll, they shine, and they're just out of this world. We're dying to know what it is. And so are we. We spoke to Darlene Barreau, the director of marketing at Tucson Botanical Gardens, whose husband is a botanist. He said if these are something naturally occurring, they could be slime mold or jelly fungus. But no one is positive what these spheres are. And for now, all we can say for certain is that they're definitely out of the ordinary. Now we've reached out to other sources in the biology field to try to figure out exactly what these spheres could be. So far, the only practical explanation we have is that it could be some sort of fungal growth. I'm going to try to do this quickly. You heard the story earlier today, uh, didn't you? Yeah. My mother found something similar to this. I know she did. And it turned out that they were these air freshener beads that you can buy at the store and they had fallen out of a bag that she had and it rained and the rain soaked up those air freshener beads. <laughs> <laughs> she had the Department of Game and Fish at her house. They were taking samples. and Because well, they're scary looking. They're, they're very kind of, strange looking. Because yeah. she thought that she had some kind of strange new so species you think growing that's in her what house. This is? That's my guess. That's just a guess, but that's only based on a kind of ironic experience that we also had. So. Right. Well, Dar Darlene, <laughs> Darlene told us that this kind of a fungus isn't really something that's normal in this type of climate. So yeah. maybe it's the Fabrice. You've got to get back to us on this. You've got to <laughs> let us know when we find out. I will out. keep you updated. All right, Liz, Thank you. Okay.